Hello, I'm the Game Justifier and I validate apparent gaming absurdities. Our subject today comes from the Mario universe. What seems like an eternal fountain of gaming absurdities. So much so that I'm sure I'm gonna have to explore that universe again sometime in the future. Today, I'm gonna answer the first question that should have popped up in your mind when you started playing Super Mario Bros. Mommy, why do mushrooms make the funny man on TV grow? Or perhaps you were slightly older. Dude, I'm so high right now I could swear that Plumber just ate a shroom and grew twice as big. Awesome, dude. Whatever the case may have been, this is one of the gaming industry's biggest secrets, and it's my job to reveal it to you, taking all the risks. Mamma mia! So, here it is, gaming biggest secret revealed to you. The mushrooms, super mushrooms as they call them, and why not, let's add mega mushrooms to the mix while we're at it. I think those species contain a massive dose of a very powerful allergen. Or perhaps it isn't the allergen itself that is so powerful. Maybe people of the Mario universe have evolved uh, to have very strong allergic reactions that actually come to their advantage. That much is not clear. But whether it be a powerful allergen or a very powerful allergic reaction, we do know one thing about allergies. Swelling can occur just by being in mere contact with the thing you're allergic to. Isn't it true that Mario only has to come into contact with said mushrooms to get a reaction? Might I add, an instantaneous reaction. Think about it, you're Nintendo and you have this popular character that people see as a hero. Are you gonna come out and tell them his power is actually a weakness? Of course not, and that's why the secret has been kept so long. Now I know what you're saying, but it's close. Don't they grow with him? Well, let's assume you live in a world where you know you're gonna encounter such a powerful allergen easily on a daily basis. Wouldn't you wear some special clothing? Of course you would. And I guess you're all familiar with Reed Richards, right? Mr. Fantastic? The freaking guy from the Fantastic Four who can make his limbs grow to incredible lengths. Okay, good. Don't you know he and his super friends are wearing clothing made from unstable molecules, as revered scientist Stanley put it? Clothes like these can withstand pretty much any hazards and transformations, and yes, I'm saying Mario wears clothes made from the same formula. And yet I still feel some doubt in you. Perhaps you're wondering why he shrinks back to normal size when he's hit by an enemy, spikes, fire, or even another very different species of mushrooms the people of the land have come to call poison mushrooms. Well, here comes a bit of science, my friend. I do like your sense of curiosity. It should be known by all atopic individuals among you, atopic meaning those who have severe reactions in the presence of different types of allergens, so those among you who are atopic probably know what epinephrine is. For the more ignorant among you, epinephrine is also typically called adrenaline, and it is a good way to make your body stop having that reaction that's making you all red and swollen. Oh yeah, in you window. Modern science conveniently gives this so-called epinephrine to us via wonderful little shots you can easily carry on your person. But you know where else to procure adrenaline? Your own body. It is well known that in stressful situations, such as when presented with a threat or in reaction to shock, your body produces adrenaline to make you stronger and more alert, all of this to theoretically have a better chance of getting out of the bad situation you're supposed to be in at the time. So it's quite easy to make the link and say that Mario's adrenaline response seems to be strong enough to act as an adrenaline shot that completely and instantaneously counters the allergic reaction. The same can be said of Luigi, Peach, some members of the Toad species, and probably others too. Now, I uh, don't know about you, but I'm convinced. That's all for the Game Justifier this time. If you liked the episode, give it a thumbs up, put it in your favorites, share it with the world. And please leave your comments, such as if you have an idea you think might be good for the show, and I'll take it into consideration. Don't forget to subscribe to the Dark Evil 87 channel, and check back for more episodes of the Game Justifier in the future.